It's the start of a brand new week and a brand new month. It's Monday, the second day of October. Welcome to the President's Daily Brief. I'm Mike Baker, your eyes and ears on the world stage. Let's get briefed. In today's spotlight, the U.S. narrowly averted a government shutdown over the weekend. Congress, racing against the clock, passed a stopgap measure to keep the government operational until November 17th. Notice I said operational rather than functioning. Calling what we have on Capitol Hill a functioning government might be over-egging the pudding. The bill, while keeping the lights on, has sparked controversy on both sides and is prompting hardline Republicans to consider a leadership change. Later in the program, we'll explore two developing stories making global headlines. In Slovakia, a member of both NATO and the EU, former Prime Minister Robert Fico led his leftist party to an unexpected victory, championing a pro-Russian and anti-American agenda. This election win could significantly impact the European Union and NATO. Meanwhile, in Ankara, Turkey, a bomb attack near a government building raises concerns about regional security and stability. And finally, in today's Back of the Brief segment, Customs and Border Protection reports a record-setting September for the southern border, with 260,000 individuals crossing into the U.S. The situation has escalated to the point where even New York's Democrat governor, Kathy Hochul, is demanding limitations on cross-border migration.